Hey everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin the questions that can be of use for your RBI, SEBI, uh, and NABARD examinations. But before that, uh, let me inform you that this PDF is downloadable, and the link of the Telegram channel is in description below. Uh, uh, from there, you can download the PDF of our sessions. Okay. So let's begin with the first question, which is about the World Economic Outlook report released by the World Bank. So, what is the GDP ratio, uh, GDP forecast for India for 2022 to 2023 by the World Economic Outlook 2022 report of the World Bank? So, here the right answer is 8.7% is the forecast for India. Now, let's have a look at the world's GDP forecast. Then we will look at the GDP forecast for India by this report. So, 2019 is 2.6, 2020 is minus 3.4. So, this is the corona year. And 2021 is 5.5% 5 .5 for the world. Do remember. 2022 full year is 4.1 percent so this is guys forecast then 2023 is 3.2 percent so these are the world gdp forecast now do remember 2021 is 2021 to 2 similarly 2022 to 2023 20, and 23 to 24 as far as india's gdp forecast are concerned so this is the fy20 4 percent then fy 21 se minus 7.3 percent 2021 to 2022 that is the current financial year the gdp forecast is 8.3 percent next year 8.7 percent and the year after 2022 to 2023 uh, the forecast is 6.8 percent so i hope that the forecast from this report are clear to you now let's move on to the second question which state has launched the project mission 100 of Vidya Jyoti schools? So here the right answer is Tripura. Now under this mission, basically the schools of the state of Tripura will be uh, improved by equipping them with the state of the art facilities. Okay, so uh, new technologies and uh, infrastructure development will be done at the selective schools that is 100 schools of the state of Tripura. Next scheme that uh, was launched in Tripura only is Mukhya Mantra Tripura Gram Samriddhi Yojana. Uh, it also aims to improve the service delivery at the village level in the core development sectors like tap water, connections, electricity, etc. etc. Moving on to the third question. Who has been appointed as the chair of the counter-terrorism committee of the United Nations Security Council? So guys, here the right answer is T.S. T.S. Tirumurthy has been appointed as the chair of the uh, counter-terrorism committee of UNSC. Now, do remember India is the chair of this committee for 2022. So, in light of this also, this appointment is very, very important. At present, India is chairing three important committees of the UN Security Council. First one is this counter-terrorism committee. Second one is this Libyan Sa sanctions committee. And the third one is Taliban sanctions committee okay so these three committees are being chaired by India at this present moment now talking more about the counter-terrorism committee so this committee was formed in 2001 after the 9-11 attacks in New York okay moving ahead what is the theme of the national science day 2022 so here guys the right answer is integrated approach in science and technology for sustainable future is the right answer now this day is celebrated on february 28 and the theme for the upcoming day has been launched by the ministry of science and technology right now so this day is observed to commemorate the discovery of the raman e effect this raman effect guys is a scientific phenomenon that was given by sir cv raman and for this phenomenon he got a nobel prize in 1930 also okay and the theme we have already discussed that is integrated approach in science and technology for sustainable future next is by which year is india expected to become the world's third largest ethanol consumer preceded by us and brazil first of all this data is given in a report of international energy agency so this uh, but this fact itself makes this report all the more important for from your exam point of view okay by which year 
is India expected to become the world's large, third largest ethanol consumer is by 2026. Now, as per this International Energy Agency's uh, report, India is on track to become the world's third largest ethanol consumer by 2026, preceded by US and China. They are going to be at the first and second positions. Now, we can clearly see the increasing demand for ethanol in India because of our target of ethanol blending in petrol. So, we have a target of uh, blending 10% ethanol in the petrol by 2022 and 20% 20 by 2025. Also remember that by the year 2023, India will start selling the fuel that is mixed with ethanol. Okay, so the petrol that will be filled in the vehicles will be will be the E20 petrol that is petrol mixed with 20% ethanol. Okay, so for that the target year is 2023. But in order to ensure the complete blending of 20% in the entire fuel uh, that would be ensured by 2025. Now, as we are in 2022 only, so we need to know how much ethanol blending target have we already achieved. So in the December 2022, November 2021, year the ethanol blending is 8.1 percent so we are very close to the target of achieving the 10 percent ethanol blending by the year 2022 now there are some kind of problems that are highlighted by the report of international energy agency it was not a full-fledged report it was just the data given by iea in uh, in its observation of india's ethanol market okay so according to that data at present a large segment of india's existing vehicle basically the vehicles that we have at present in india they are not compatible with the ethanol blended petrol okay so they are not flex fuel uh, vehicles as we can say flexible fuel vehicles they are not like that and now what is the option with the consumers right now what is the option with the vehicle owners either they can retrofit their vehicles retrofit means uh, they can uh, change their engines in accordance with the ethanol blended petrol or they have the option of changing their vehicle both of these options are very costly okay but according to international energy agency only option that india has right now is to persuade the consumers persuade the vehicle owners to change their vehicles as they have become old so that's the option that this report has suggested now these are some of the problems that india is facing so adapting to the ethanol blended fuel is also a challenge in indian market and how are we going to tackle that this is something to be seen in the near future okay now next point here is the biodiesel blending in diesel target so this five percent by 2030 do remember this target as well who has been appointed as the first female chairperson and managing director of the ongc so guys here alka mittal is the right answer soma mandal is the first women chairperson of sale okay so now psus are also going to have the uh, female heads okay as we can see here Next is who has been appointed as a chairperson of the Commission for Agricultural Cost and Prices. So guys here the right answer is option A Vijay Paul Sharma. Now as you all know I hope that you are aware of the role that this commission plays. So this commission basically uh, decides the minimum support uh, price for 22 crops in India and fair and remunerative price for one crop that is sugar cane in India. So that's the role of this commission which works under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare. Now the head of this organization has been appointed that is Vinay Paul Sharma. So do remember this thing and uh, you can expect this question in your examination as well. So prepare all the questions that I have taken up in this session thoroughly. Okay, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to you all. Today's session, I have kept it short. So goodbye, take care. I will see you in the next session tomorrow and I hope that you all are studying really hard with the sessions that we are providing or even if you are preparing on your own then I'm, I hope that you are doing your best. Thank you so much guys for watching this video so far. Thank you.